I'm Dave from Minus the Bear and Botch, and I'm here to talk about my favorite pedal of the last 25 years, the Line 6 DL4. In fact, if you were to say what are your top three pedals, I would probably say the DL4, and then the DL4, and then another DL4. This is the new DL4, and as you can see, it is way smaller. And they took out the battery compartment because honestly, these were probably plugged in to a wall wart or your power supply the whole time anyway. So great update to the already classic DL4 from 20 years ago, but they've added a ton of new delays. They've added a secret menu of reverbs. They've added an SD card slot so you can have hours and hours worth of loops going. And there's a mic input, MIDI in, out, and through for controlling through an external MIDI device and they've just done a lot of great updates while making it smaller. And the build quality is a whole hell of a lot better than the old ones. And let's, uh, let's take a look. So we've added the reverb to the delay and let's see how that sounds. They've added a whole new bunch of delays to this. So you have all your classic delays in here, the vintage delays that you all know. But now in addition to that, We've got all these crazy new delays, like we've got the harmony delay, we've got a glitch delay, which slices up your signal and then um, plays it back, uh, depending on how you have the slices set up with the tweak and tweeze knobs. There's a great new set of reverbs that are now in here. Um, you know, before it was only a delay and a looper, but now there is a secret menu that you can access by holding down this Alt Legacy button. And then you can select your reverb that you want to pair with the existing delay you have going um, and run them both together. So my experience with the DL4 dates back to probably right when it came out, I was excited about getting a delay pedal. This was probably the early 2000s. And you know, at first I didn't even know that the looper existed in the pedal, it was merely just a cool delay unit. And then one of those happy accidents where you're trying to find a cool delay sound, then all of a sudden the selector switch lands on looper mode. And it's like, what is this? Um, and then through trial and error and, you know, a lot of happy accidents with the DL4, you know, it became a, a, a crucial part of, of my sound and the way that you can manipulate samples, um, double time, half time, make them go backwards was really inspiring. And we used it as a tool to kind of emulate what a lot of like maybe IDM or EDM 
artists were doing like Fortet where they'd have a sample going and then, you know, glitch it and loop it back to the beginning. And that, that was a way for me to, to get my guitar to sound more like a keyboard or like a, like a, a, a sampling instrument, maybe like an MPC. So it's a really revolutionary pedal that from a sampling standpoint that kind of changed the way that we wrote songs. So let's do that Pachuca loop, but this time through a new, one of the new modern ones. I think it's called Crossroads, that I just love it. it. has a ton of reverb. And I have the mix set, so it's only the wet signal right now. Let's bring in some of the original, dry. So let's do Rob's Alien, which is a really old Minus the Bear song. Uh, it was never sampled on the recording, but um, it's just a really fun riff to play. Got a ping pong delay of the vintage variety going on uh, out of this DL4, and then we'll loop it up in this guy. Let's do double time. the best new things they've done for this is added a micro SD card. So now, instead of only having the internal memory from the DL4, you also have hours and hours worth of looping and recording time, you know, based on how many gigabytes your micro SD card is. The other great part about that is that now you can unplug your DL4 and whatever loop you've made in here, however complicated, intricate it is, Turn it back on and your loop is still stored in here, which is, I gotta say, pretty phenomenal. The looping function works pretty much exactly the same way as it does before. However, there is a new function where they've set up a one switch looper. So you can have your delay going and then by only switching on the tap button, you can start and stop recording a loop. That doesn't let you use all the cool functionality of the classic looper, um, you know, the re-triggering or the double time half speed. This is a song off my new record that comes out May 13th. Um, these riffs kind of started it off a few years ago um, and the song has morphed and changed and it sounds a bit different, but these are the main riffs that go underneath. We're gonna have a ping pong delay out of here. We're gonna have a sample and a loop that just continues underneath out of this. And then uh, this is gonna be a double time loop um, that I re-trigger to create a nice little melody. So let's go.
So after playing around with this for a week, I gotta say that it's, it's really awesome. I'm so happy that they've decided to update the DL4 instead of just continuing on with the you know 20 plus year old model that, that everybody loves. This has so many great delays and reverbs. Um, it's really gonna be a nice source of inspiration for people moving forward. Kudos to them for continuing to manufacture and invest in this pedal because you know just like so many other people I, I really do love this unit and it's um, it's so great to make new music with it and explore all the new features.